Hello, it's Marky. How's it going? I picked up some Matchbox moving parts. I want to showcase these for you. Here's the Mazda MX-30. I'm going to open all of these up today. And here's the 2020 Chevy Corvette. Pick this one up. It's really nice. I also picked up this really cool Toyota Land Cruiser FJ40 with opening doors. Another nice Matchbox. And this Bentley Continental. Check out the color and the interior. Looks cool. Nice details. Beautiful car. Let's open that one as well. I also picked up a nice 1964 Buick Riviera in black. Beautiful. Check this out. I got a Range Rover Evoque. Man, this one's a convertible. Isn't that cool? And I also got this really cool 2019 Ford Ranger. It's back. This one was out previously in blue, and now you can find it in this black color. That's all I got. Let's open them. Here's the Mazda MX-30. He has been freed. He's got a little dog back there. You can see <laughs> doggy is sleeping in the back. What I used to call the way back. And uh, this one has two doors with the little handles on there. And it looks like the little back door has no handle showing. Beautiful front end. You see the mirrors on the side, nice details. The lights look awesome. Same thing back here, really nice details. We have a nice bumper and everything. And the door closes shut. It looks really good. Great job on this uh, Mazda MX-30. This one was out previously in a different color. I happen to have it right here. Also a moving parts MX-30 with the same dog sleeping back there. And let's compare them. And big difference already. You see the license plate missing on the new one. So the old one had the Mazda license plate right there. And on the front end, they look about the same. And they use the same wheels. And here they are, side by side. Which one's your favorite? They look pretty awesome, don't they? I love them, they look so cool. All right, let's move on to the Corvette. Let's check out the Corvette. We can open up the, the hood right there. It locks in place, which is really nice. And you can see the engine. It does say Corvette right on the engine on each side. That looks pretty awesome. It looks like it says caffeine back there. And on the license plate, here's the front end. Check out the lights, the badge, mirrors on the side, windshield wipers, a lot of beautiful details on this one. The color is really cool. I think it works, it works pretty good on this Corvette. It's kind of like a metallic brown. It might be uh, also considered a copper color. It's a beauty. This one was out previously in blue. I did get the blue one. So here is the blue one. What does this one say on the license plate? Envious, it looks like it says. And caffeine, or <laughs> I don't know. What else could it be? They did change up the wheels, check it out. The wheels are different. There we go. Side view there. Pretty nice. Which one's your favorite out of these? The blue or the brown or copper? Not sure if to call it brown or copper. But pretty nice, pretty nice. And let's see. Up next, let's check out the little Jeep. Well, not a Jeep, Toyota FJ series, the FJ40. Oh, I did forget to show the base on the others, didn't I? Well, here's the front view, uh, front view of the FJ40. Opening doors, dark interior. Pretty, pretty cool.
So I do have this one, like the one that came out on the main line in gray, in a gray color, but it doesn't have the opening doors, but it looks almost exactly the same, except for the doors. Pretty nice, right? Nice details on the front end. On the back, some details down here. No license plate uh, in there. We have the plate there, but no. No letters or numbers. Pretty cool. These are all so nice. Plastic wheels on these. Not like the uh, Collector Series, which brings the, um, the rubber tires. These are always come with the plastic wheels, or tires, I mean. Plastic tires and plastic wheels. The Bentley Continental. There's the base. See the exhaust coming out down here. Beautiful wheels on this one. Nice uh, gray color. Metallic gray. Almost like a silver, silver look to it with all the silver specks in there, little metal flakes. Nice details on the front end. Beautiful interior. Let's uh, close the doors. And it looks awesome with the doors shut. Bentley, looks like the Y is falling off there. What's up with that? <laughs> Bentley with a dropping Y. Then it says Bentley up here as well. Little badge, lights. And look at that, tampoed in the uh, ends of the pipes there. Just tampoed in there. The windows are rolled down, but not in the back, just on the front uh, driver and the passenger. Very cool, the doors are nice. Very nice, they match perfectly. Are they metal? Hard to tell. Usually they're, they've been making the doors in plastic, but uh, these look almost just perfect. It looks really great, nice Bentley. And we know the Bentley's been out in the main line. I'm not sure if it's the same year, but I unfortunately I didn't dig them up. I should have dug them up just for, for this video. The Land, uh, Range Rover, check it out. Very nice. Check out the details on the front end. Wow, nice. Let's close these doors, which are really nice. Beautiful, right? Great details on this one. No license plate. They should add a license plate always just to complete the car. It looks more complete. There's the exhaust, I think. 2016 Land Rover Evoque. Beautiful, I love it. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's check out this beautiful 1964 Buick Riviera. There's a Riviera name right there. Looks like it only has one mirror on this side. Black interior, which looks awesome, right? dust already on it let's close the doors wow it looks great nice trim on it oh wow Riviera name back here check out the lights little spot for the plate but they didn't put it in there a little keyhole there for the trunk nice vents here with some detail on there trim around the windows the door handles are painted in as well the grill's all chromed out. So is the bumper back here and the base, all chromed out. 64 Buick Riviera. There are the numbers, all those cool little things back there. And here's the exhaust. One pipe on each side. Can barely see them, but they're there. Beautiful. What do you think? There was a couple of Rivieras that came out for the moving parts. We have the white one which has, this one came with kind of like a damaged door. It doesn't close right. Check this out. Kind of like always opens up. Can't get it to stay shut. I've messed with it a lot, but I can't get it to stay shut. This one shuts or closes really well. This is a Buick Rivera from 83. So a 64 and 83. Check out the different uh, look. They still have the little point, but Totally different, right? They also made this one in the uh, wine color, which I do have. It's kind of like a red, translucent color. Nice closing doors on this one. 
looks great. It's got the trim and everything. Silver base, silver trim on it or chromish looking. So that looks silver to me, the bumper and everything. But there's the other Riviera that I have. So two 83s was it? These are, both of them are from 83 and this one's a 64. Wow, long time, big difference in time, right? Or in, or in years, but beautiful car is beautiful. They just look awesome. And then I also picked up this, um, this nice Ford. Two, uh, 2019 Ford Ranger. And it has the moving part up here, which is notorious for not staying open. It'll <laughs> shut as soon as I don't hold it up. Ford badge on front there on the grill. Beautiful lights, nice uh, tires and wheels. This one does have two mirrors on the sides there, one on each side. And let's see, does this open up? <clears throat> yeah, it does. So pretty cool, the tailgate and the hood. Two moving parts on this one. Very cool. Four doors, the handles are painted over in the same color as the vehicle. And the bed is just empty. And for exhaust, we just have a pipe, I think right here on the side, right there. Nice color black with the uh, metallic flakes in there. Looks beautiful. Let's uh, get the tires situated right. Nice, very nice. This one was out in the blue. I do have the blue one. Here's the blue one. Let's compare them. There we go. There we go. Man, they use the same wheels, same tires. They look great. This one opens up as well on the back. And it has the same problem. This will only stay open if I hold it. And then you see the engine in there. And bam. The wipers on this one are molded in the die cast, which is really nice. It looks great. Pretty good looking uh, truck. Let's put him over here. And then uh, for for the, uh, the little evoke over here, what do I have that marked as? 2016 Land Rover Evoque. I do have this uh, Range Rover that came out before. Also has the uh, opening hood. It's kind of hard to keep it open. But here it is, another cool Range Rover. And under, underneath it says 1975 Range Rover. A very cool moving parts uh, matchbox. I love it. Awesome. So this one came out not too long ago, I think. We have these two. And let's move these out of the way so we can see these. There they go. We have a couple more that came out. <clears throat> the Range Rover. Range Rover Land Rover. The 2018 Land Rover Vogue SE with the opening door in the back. And this one has been out in a few colors. This one was out in white as well. And same thing, looks the same, just different color, different uh, color, color combination, white and black. Close that door there, we can compare these. And then remember, some of these I have in the Matchbox Collectors, some of the ones that have come out as a Matchbox Collector series, those come with rubber tires, not the plastic ones. And sometimes they have moving parts, not always, but sometimes. So here's the black version, which looks really nice with the metal flakes. This one does have the windshield wipers in the, molded in the glass, the plastic glass, or windshield. Close that door there. And these come with a plastic door in the back. All of these are Range Rovers. 
ranch box, and this one has a license plate that says Land Rover. And what did this, uh, this license plate say? Land Rover as well. So this one, the black one's the only one that says Matchbox. Very, very nice. I'll show you some of the other ones I have in the uh, collection. Let's see. From the uh, Moving Parts collection, I have, let's grab a really nice, 2016 Chevy Camaro with the moving part. Let's get closer on him. This one came with a little damage. I didn't notice it when I bought it. But this one does open the hood and it stays open. You can close it. Nice uh, details all around. Front and back. Really nice uh, wheels on this one. Pretty cool Camaro. I do have... Um, let me see, I have this one in red as well, which is cool. And they have this different uh, license plates. This one says Camaro, this one says Chevy. Pretty neat. And then I have a blue one as well. Let me reach for the blue one over here. This one, they didn't paint anything in here. On the engine and the license plate says California Matchbox. Nice blue color. So we have the red, red, white, and blue. These are pretty awesome. Gotta love these Camaros. I also have a really nice Beamer. Look at this convertible BMW. Cabriolet, it's the 2020 BMW M4. Man, the M4, it's just such a nice BMW. Look at that, the blue and the white, looks great. Opening doors, and they're smooth, they work perfectly. Nice uh, details, beautiful wheels. Check out the details on the front, so awesome. Has the windshield wipers, does have the mirrors on the side. Look at the back end. Beautiful. It says Matchbox on the bumper. <laughs> very, very cool. And I have this really nice looking. The Brat. <laughs> this one's called the Brat. Look at that. Engine parts are painted in. Beautiful. I don't have the white one. There's a white one out that I never could find. The 1978 Subaru Brat. So a nice uh, 78 Subi. Diecast uh, windshield wipers and diecast mirrors on the side. Check it out. A couple of seats in the back. Isn't that cool? This does not open. Only the only the hood. Nice wheels. Man, I love the stripes. Beautiful lights on the side. Perfect. Nice front end. Beautiful details. Nice bumper and. Uh, same plastic as the base, and you see exhaust coming all the way down to the back. Great details for the exhaust, right? That's cool. That one's really nice. I do have, check this out, the Honda. I think it's the S2000, right? Yeah, 2004 Honda S2000. Also nice details for the exhaust, look at that. Pipes back there. Beautiful interior, really nice steering wheel. I love it, and uh, cool colors on the on the engine parts. Close that up. Looks great. This one has the gold wheels, and then the pearl metallic pearl color plastic uh, lenses in the front, not painted in. And then the lights in the back are painted in with the S2000 on the license plate. There's the exhaust showing. Man, this one is beautiful. Beautiful. Nice car. And here's a nice blue one. Look at this. An oldie but a goldie. Pretty cool. The Grand Prix. What year is this one? 64. 
Grand Prix 64, wow. Very nice. No mirrors on this one on the side. No license plate in there. Got a little jump on there. And plastic grill in the front, plastic base. Beautiful matchbox. This one I have in a different color as well. This one came out, check it out. Chrome front grill and bumper. Let's see. Uh, this one has a problem with the door, I think. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, it opens up. It won't stay shut. The Grand Prix. Pretty nice. I like that they did the chrome grill and the chrome bumper in the back. That's pretty awesome. Here's a really cool pickup truck. The C10, <clears throat> excuse me. This one is a 63 Chevy C10. You can open up the hood. There's no uh, color on the engine parts. I do have one that has a painted engine from the Matchbox uh, Collector Series. Don't have, the, have them out here right now, but to show you, but got all my moving parts out here. <laughs> Let's put them back there. And let's see, wow, it's getting pretty packed over here. Here's a nice Bronco. Look at this little Bronco. Isn't that awesome? Opening doors, it's got the, the uh, spare tire in the back, little Ford badge over here in the corner, the Bronco up there. Pretty cool, this is such a nice uh, series. Opening doors. Partial um, wipers on the die cast and then the rest on the plastic. Mirrors on the side, the lights are painted in there. Bronco name on the front. Beautiful, I love this little Bronco. And what else do I have? Oh wow, look at this exotic car right here. Look at those doors. Crazy. It's a BMW, <laughs> 2016 BMW. I ate. Let's shut these doors. Now it's strange that the mirrors and the doors are like a different color that doesn't match. Doesn't match up, I don't know. Don't know what to think about this one with the doors in that different plastic color. They didn't match that up pretty well. BMW badge looks great. License plate looks cool. Same thing on the back. Pretty awesome. Just don't like the different colored doors and mirrors. Kind of weird. Here's a really cool oldie. Look at this. An old VW. Left side drive. Close the doors. No mirrors on the side. It's got the license plate. The, the really cool lights in the front there. Volkswagen badge as well. And little details there in the front. Some vents on the side. And the lights back here. Check out the, the license plate. And nice bumper there. And there's a the side view. Very really cool top view. 1965 Volkswagen Type 3 Fastback. The Type 3, there it is. Don't see these around anymore on the streets. I haven't seen one of those in ages. I did, I remember seeing a red one one time, long, long time ago, I haven't seen any in a while. Check this out. 62 Jeep Willys Station Wagon. White wheels, rugged tires. Nice lights on the front. Come, comes with a couple details there on the grill. Windshield wipers on the glass. We do have the uh, mirrors on the side there. This one gives me a hard time. This uh, door on this side, but it does sh it does close. Just kind of play with it. There we go. And to open it, it's kind of hard, so I'll use like 
these little sticks to open the uh, doors on these uh, Jeeps and stuff like that. And it makes it a little easier to get them open. And yeah, it always gives me a hard time to close that door. <laughs> little details on the sides there for the lights and on the back the little hinges the handle nice uh, base with the bumpers and chrome and the name down there and everything and I love this bar right here cool very cool this color is nice I do have it in the collectors uh, one but I also have another moving parts which is this green one it comes in blue a little fancier for the collector series with rubber tires I do have that one but uh don't have it uh, handy right now, but uh, would have had love to have shown you that one. I just don't have it here, close to my desk. In one of my cases somewhere. But yeah, I remember having that one with the rubber tires and it's the same one as these two. The 62 uh, Jeep Willy Station Wagon. And there we go. What else do I have? Oh, the Vipco. Also, this one came in the uh, collector series in the uh, Gulf oil livery, the Gulf uh, oil or Gulf gasoline. Comes with the moving doors in the back, opening and closing doors. This one says uh, Island Fresh Skippers Shaved Ice. And a couple other things there ice cream, whipped tea, shaved, shaved ice, I mean, not tea, whipped ice, shaved ice. And it says Matchbox here, in the blue letters. It's got the Tiki God there, pretty cool. Look at those big orange fenders. Really cool green, very, very unusual combo. It sticks out, I mean, stands out in the collection because I have another more subdued color. Look at this, looks great too. Matchbox Speed Shop, speedy delivery, service quality, parts. Your go-to speed shop and speed and power by a 5.8. I don't know. That goes like that. But then you open this and see in there a little bit. Some details, pretty cool. So it has the uh, back doors that are the moving parts. And I also have, oh wow, I have so many. Still have some more. Check this out. Xterra, this is a Nissan. It's got the uh, big windshield wiper there. And again, this is the moving part back here. You see the little details there. It's got this rack up here. White wheels? No, chrome wheels. It's got the white lights in the front. Left side drive, we do have the mirrors. No uh, license plate to show there. 2000 Nissan Xterra. Pretty cool. And check this out. We have a taxi. Metro to airport. Opening doors. Exhaust on the back. And there's the front end. Mirrors on the side, windshield wipers. Pretty cool, old school. Hubs there, a little uh, wheels. And then we have the, uh, or hubcaps, I mean. It does have the light bar on the top as well on this taxi, kind of like a police car. This one's the Sheriff, it does, it's the same car. By the way, they're both the uh, 2006 Ford Crown Victoria. I actually have three of them, I have another one here. But this one's the Sheriff, Boone County Sheriff. Another moving parts uh, vehicle with plastic tires. And then we have Matchbox Harbor Police. Let me know which ones you have in your collection. I've shown a bunch of them here. You might have some of these already, or some of you might have all of them and maybe have more than me. These are all my moving parts series Matchbox. 
I'm showing you today, including the new arrivals. I also have this one here, which moves the, uh, the ladder goes up and down, and I think you can slide this out, but it's kind of hard. It doesn't slide out as easily, but it does move up and you can spin it around. City of El Segundo Fire Department, truck 32. And over here it says El Segundo Fire Department, City of El Segundo, a little badge there. It says City of El Segundo. Segundo, Segundo it's kind of hard to say, Segundo, whatever. Courtesy and service, and then over here, I don't, can't make out what it says, Seagrave, maybe? I don't know. And on the base, oh yeah, Seagrave, Seagrave fire truck, made in Thailand. Pretty cool, but the scale is so off with the uh, other cars, kind of strange. Here's a nice uh, truck, Could we call it truck, or sedan. What do they have down here? Oh, Suburban, 1950s Chevy Suburban. No real details here for the exhaust or anything. Just that. Down the middle there, and the engine does have some colors in there. Also, this one won't stay open. Oh, look at that. Stayed open. National Parks uh, livery, awesome. Looks great. Forest Ranger, Park Patrol. US 1254. Top view. Looks awesome on the side. We do have the uh, caution stripe there. Running boards in the chrome. And it's cool. Yeah, and every time you like move him to the side or whatever, he, his hood will open up. It's a heavy hood. It's nice uh, die cast. And then we have the Arrow, I mean, Camp Arrow Flint base, base camp transport. And then all the things they do from horseback to swimming and whatever, hiking and all that. Pretty cool. Same thing. This one opens up. No color, extra colors on the uh, engine parts. And look, oh wow, thought it was gonna stay open. <laughs> Sometimes if you push it a little bit, it'll stay. There we go. As soon as you move them around, <laughs> it'll close up. But uh, 1950 Chevy Suburban as well. Man, this is a really cool series to, to have and enjoy, really cool cars. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna back it out and let's uh, fix these up a little bit so if you did enjoy it leave me a like on this video and leave a comment let me know what uh, cars you you guys have or what have you been collecting lately the new ones are back here so I got the uh, this one this one this one over here and that and that one <laughs> they're all like that one I don't know they're like all over the place Anyways, anyways, let's just uh, fix these up a little bit.